do you really need a degree to get a job in game design? It's a tough question. At some companies, it has a lot of weight. Other companies, it's meaningless. The degree can help you get the job because it'll teach you the right skills. It doesn't mean that that piece of paper just gets you through the door. You still gotta prove yourself. You still gotta have a great portfolio. You still gotta show them you can use the work. Can you use the game engine? Do you know how to build levels, program, or code? That's the real question. But how do you prove that, right? Hi everybody, I'm Troy Dunaway. I've been designing video games for over 30 years. I'm the department head at CG Spectrum and the head of game design program. The problem is the information out there is just so scattered. If you try to learn on your own, what do you learn? Why are you learning this? There's so many rabbit holes. Do you learn how to specialize in game art, programming, storytelling, UI UX, interface design? There's so many rabbit holes. There's literally dozens and dozens of rabbit holes that could take you years to learn and master. That's not what a game designer does. And if you try to learn that on your own, you're gonna take a lot longer. You're gonna learn a lot of the wrong things. That doesn't necessarily mean you won't learn how to become a great game designer, but it's gonna be a lot harder. You just don't know where to focus. There's so many things. Do I learn puzzle game design? Do I learn action design, RPG design, strategy game design? There's a misnomer that we're all game designers, but in actuality, a lot of us are just like shooter designers, right? That's all we've done. That's all we're doing. And that doesn't mean we're qualified to go build the next Candy Crush or build the next you know, mobile game. Every game, every genre, every platform is very nuanced. So how do you figure all that out if you're just doing it on your own? You can fumble around for a long time on your own. I'm not saying that a lot of great designers and a great game developers haven't learned on their own, but going to a school, going with a place that really knows how to give you a holistic approach to the entirety of game development and game design will really help you a lot is gonna give you a lot more ability to, to really hit the ground running when you get that portfolio put together, then you're ready to start applying for jobs. They're gonna help guide you. They're gonna have teachers, your classmates. You know, you're gonna have people do group projects with and learn some of the soft skills with and practice those things that you may not get if you're just learning all on your own, right? You're gonna get more opportunities to network and do all sorts of other stuff. And in the end, you're probably gonna get a little bit more credibility. That piece of paper doesn't get you the job. In the end, it's, can you talk the talk? Can you sit there and talk about, this is what a game designer does. This is what makes a game fun. Can you dissect things? Can you analyze things? Can you think critically? So many of these skills are really hard to learn on your own because you don't have somebody pushing you. You don't have somebody teaching you how to think. Game design is very strange. It's part heart, it's part soul. We've got to kind of figure out how to use data, but figure out how to use our intuition. And so you need somebody to kind of help guide you through those things, to help you focus. At CG Spectrum, we have a lot of opportunity there. We have experienced people, all of our mentors come from the industry. They're all people who have worked in games, built games and built real stuff. That's an important part because not every place is gonna give you the right advice. Not every book is great either, right? So even if you self-study, how do you know if this person, this YouTube video, this book, this blog, how do you know if it's really great content? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Doesn't mean it's not worth reading or, or looking at, but you need to be kind of aware of that. What does this industry really want from you, right? They wanna see a portfolio, because that kind of shows at least you know the basics. But remember, as a game designer, they wanna see game design documents, pitch decks, you know, maps, 2D stuff. They wanna see you've done core fundamental game design work. Game design's lifelong learning. I've been doing this 35 years, and I still feel like I don't know a whole lot. It still just changes and evolves every day. Every game, every project, every team is very different. So you need people to help guide you that way and help you focus so that when you get that portfolio together, you can talk to talk. That's what you got to do in your interview. You're going to have a portfolio to work on. You're going to get some experience by doing group projects and doing things with your classmates or with other people at the school. And you're going to learn about a lot of different things. And in the end, you're going to be ready to go out there and apply for a job and not just be like, yeah, I'm a gamer. I like to play games and I want to make games for a living. And look, I, I spent a couple of weeks learning Unreal and, and that's good enough. It's not good enough right? You've got to do the work. Game design is hard. It's probably one of the hardest jobs out there. And so that degree is just a way to crack the door. It's a way to get you in the door when you have little or nothing on your resume. Think about that as it really is just another check mark at some levels, but it is going to teach you those core fundamental skills that you really need. Regardless of whether you study on your own, whether you study at school. And honestly, if you study at school, still study on your own, right? After 35 years, I still learn every day. I still read a book every week. I still practice, I still learn. That's what you gotta do to be a great game designer. Never stop learning, but find some help. Find some schools, find a mentor, find ways to help you learn the right things. And just be careful about avoiding all these rabbit holes that will sink your time, sink your, your mental health that you don't wanna do. So regardless of your journey, keep learning what do I need to do to be a great game designer? And how do I get there? And I do believe a school is generally the best way for you to, to learn how to become a great game designer and how to get you started.
All right. Good luck with your journeys. Hopefully we'll see you guys someday soon.